Have you seen those brick or stones on the corner of masonry buildings? They are called coins, corner block or corner stones. They were used for creating right angles for walls, for structural support or probably decoration. You asked for a tutorial about them and here we are. So let's start with creating a new family in generic model. We will have a L shape model. So let's create some reference plans on here, another one in this part, one in here and another one in this part. Then create a dimension for this and another one for this. Select them and turn them into parameters. Let's call it just simply thickness. I'm going to create another one for this part and another one for here. This one is going to be our length or width, it doesn't matter. And the other one is going to be the width. Go to create and draw an extrusion with these lines exactly on these parts. Then use this align and lock them with all of these reference lines. Now you can hit finish and go to the front view. In here we also need to control its height. So let's go to create and draw another reference plan for here. Then I'm going to create a dimension for this part too and turn it into a parameter which is going to be the height and align it with this edge and lock it. Select this reference plan and turn it into a, a strong reference and do the same for this one too. Let's also create a parameter for its material. So just simply select it and click on this part. Create a new one and let's go with M. OK and OK. Let's go to family type and assign a very simple material for it. I'm going to create a new one, change its name to, for example, brick. And let's just give it a very simple color, something like this. Now let's go to 3D view and create a fillet for it. For this, we are going to use void sweep. So create one and then click on this pick pass then select all of these edges one by one like this and hit finish now for its profile we are going to go to the right view in here we need to go to the back view and then we need some reference plans in here too if you want you can just create a very simple fillet in this part but i'm going to show you how you can control your fillet too so create two reference plans one in here and another one in this part and then create a dimension for them select both and turn them into a parameter let's call it fillet then create a line from this point to here and then close the loop from the outside now you can hit finish and finish again if you go to 3d view you can see the block simply like this go to family type and in here i'm going to create a formula for this fillet so i want to say that this formula should be the half of this thickness it's very simple just write the thickness this th or if you write it completely write the thickness whatever its name then divide it into two simply like this and apply for its height let's go with something smaller 18 centimeter and for its length let's Go with 35 for its thickness probably six is enough and for its width let's go with 21 okay this is better now it is ready for the next part create a new generic model save your family let's save it as simply a and then load it into the new family Align it with this line and also this line. So now let's go to front view. And in here, we are going to copy it up to here. So if you click on this family type, you see that we don't have those parameters. So we need to bring all of them to here. You just need to simply select your model 
and go to its edit type. In here, we are going to create a new permit for all of them. I'm going to go with the same name for them because, well, we need to create all of these again later. Okay, but for this one, we need to duplicate it. I'm going to go with simply B and then we need to do the same for these parts too. But since we created them before for this family, we can just simply choose them between these. For the fillet, I'm going to go with the same. For the height, also I will select this one. Or if you want, you can create another one yourself. But for the length, I will select this width. And for width, I'm going to go with length. Okay. And for thickness, the same thickness. We also need to bring this material so i'm going to create a new one for this one too and okay let's also do the same for this one too and select this material for this gap between these two parts we also need a permit so i'm going to create a dimension from this point to here and let's create a permit for it i'm going to go with gap now if i move this down this format will show me the distance the size between these two blocks it will help us to create a equal gap between the blocks later so now let's create the last generic model i'm going to save this one as blocks and then we can load it into the last family in here let's locate it in this part and align it with these lines if we go to front view we can array it to this part i'm going to align this base of this with one of these reference plans like this and for the top part we need to create a reference plan the distance between this one and this reference plan should be height of this one and this one the gap and distance in this part and another gap for here so we can array and lock this block this unit to this line so i'm going to create a dimension like this and turn it into a parameter let's just call it d okay now we need to write the formula for it. Let's go to family type. And as you can see, all of those parameters that we created before are not here. So first, let's bring all of them to this part too. Just simply click on this block and go to edit type and create all of those parameters for this part too. And since this is the last time we are going to do this, you can go with the full name. Now if we go back to family type, you can see all of them in here. Let's write the formula. So we need the height times 2 plus the gap times 2. Put them inside a parenthesis. Now if you apply and OK, you can see the perfect unit like this. It's time for array. Select the unit and then click on this array. Put it on second and then check this constraint. Click on this part and then here. Now let's align and lock this part with here. Then if you select one of them, you can see the number in this part select it and if you go to the label and open this part you can see that we can actually turn it into a parameter so click on here and let's give it a name let's go with simply number check this one to turn it into an instance okay and i believe we are done let's check it in our project i'm going to create a new one and draw two simple walls like this save it as corner block corner stone or coins and now we can load it into the project in here simply i'm going to put it in this part and then align it with these two walls let's go to 3d view to see how it looks perfect if you select it you can see this number in this part you can 
add as much as you want if you go to its edit type you can change the width let's go with 25 and these parts will change if you change the length let's go with 38 this part and this side will change okay if you change this thickness to for example 4 cm the fillet will also change accordingly like this and also you can control the height let's go with 21 cm for now perfect this was my way of creating corner blocks or coins and if you do all of the parts exactly like i did you can have this family too i hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye